This is an overview of Blackboard 9 for College of Western Idaho students. The first thing to do is to log in to the College of Western Idaho homepage, scroll down using the scroll bar, and left click on Login to Blackboard. Once at the Login Blackboard website, you would log in with your username and password. Your username and password are in this format. Your first initial capitalized, your last initial capitalized, the word log on, and the last four of your social security number. So for instance, if your name is Johnny Wicked Cool, you would first type capital J, capital W, the word log on, and the last four of your social security to log in to Blackboard 9. Once you've logged into Blackboard 9, Blackboard takes you to a splash page which shows announcements that have recently been posted by your instructors and the courses in which you are enrolled. Left click into a class in which you are enrolled and by default the course loads to the course dashboard page. The course dashboard page is a page that holds information for you as a student regarding happenings within the course itself. The announcements section of Course Dashboard holds pertinent information for you as a student. What is happening now that you need to know for class today? Or what is happening this week that you need to know in order to, to perform your work? The to-do box houses information about what things will come due this semester, today, tomorrow, this week. By default, it is only housing 30 days worth of information. When viewing the course dashboard, please note that some modules will be used by instructors and some won't. And what you should do as a student is click around and familiarize yourself with how the modules are used by your instructor in that course. In Blackboard, on the left side of the screen is what is called the course menu. Housed underneath tabs like syllabus and schedule and faculty information are pertinent information for you and your use as a student to access what you need to do in order to perform your homework and earn your grade in the class. The tab entitled Tools has a link to programs in Blackboard like a link to the announcements, journals, my grades, the roster, how to send an email, the discussion board, groups, and wikis. All of these may or may not be functions which your instructor at College of Western Idaho would use, but you should check here to see under direction by your instructor as to what's going on. Pertinent to you as a student at College of Western Idaho is the function My Grades. It is here that you would click in order to see what grades have been posted and what your standing is in the class itself. You can, if you wish, maximize the right side of the screen and make it bigger by clicking the arrow at the side of this screen. When doing so, the course menu disappears and the screen is maximized so that you can see at a bigger view all of the things housed. Once again, if you decide to access the course menu, click again on the arrow and the course menu will reappear. Now that we've learned how to minimize and maximize the screen, we'll talk about groups and group functionality within Blackboard 9. If your teacher uses groups within your class, it will be listed below the course menu in this manner. You will be alerted as to which group you belong. Once you know which group you belong, click the side arrow and it will show you things like the group property, all of the tools for groups like file exchange where you can exchange Word documents or Excel spreadsheets, etc. Discuss with other groups happenings within the class and send an email to all of the members listed. Once within the discussion board, click on the assigned discussion to access all of the writing and conversation amongst you and your classmates. Clickable links in Blackboard are underlined. In order to read a thread, click the underlined portion and the thread will load for your view. You can read the thread and reply to the thread by clicking on reply. Your message can be entered here in the text box and then click submit. Never click save as draft. 
for that will not go to your classmates and your instructor. Always select the submit button. From within the discussion board, if you wish to post your own thoughts regarding the topic, click create a thread. Once you've entered your subject line and the message in the text box, click submit. Again, don't save as a draft. The only way your writing goes to your instructor and your colleagues is by clicking submit. Another important feature in Blackboard is the assignment tab. Your instructors may or may not use the assignment tab in order to load important information for you as a student. Click in appropriate folders to see what work may or may not be housed for you there. Some important things that could be housed within the assignment folder would be things like an external link to a URL. You can click on the link in order to have the URL and its viewing posted. You can view the video and go back to Blackboard. Additionally, if your instructors have loaded documents, they will be underlined and you can click and open them to view the documents to read. Some assignments ask for you to do the work and then submit to your instructor. These will be housed with an icon that looks like this with a ruler and a pencil. In order to submit your work to your instructor, you would click on the title that's underlined, read the instructions, write a note to your instructor in the submission box, and browse your computer to attach the file. Once you have done so, Click Submit to send to your instructor, not Save as Draft. Another important feature in the assignment folder could be that you could take a quiz. Quizzes are sometimes loaded in the Assignment tab or in the Quizzes and Exams tab. In order to start a quiz or exam, click on the underlined title to activate the quiz and begin the exam. This has been an overview of Blackboard 9 for College of Western Idaho students.